Riri's reign continues in Invincible Iron Man issue 10. Having taken over Lataveria and become their ruler, Riri is visited by S.H.I.E.L.D. while she repairs her armor. Sharon isn't too happy the young woman declared herself ruler of the country, but Riri says it was kind of an accident and she needs Sharon's help in getting out of the role of queen. She just can't leave either as the people actually do need her help. Retelling Sharon the story of her fight with Von Bardas, Riri says that it was an accident she became ruler and Tony told her to contact S.H.I.E.L.D. to come and relieve her. Riri doesn't want to stop being a ruler just yet as she has a full list of things that the country needs to have fixed before she stops being ruler and someone else takes over. In Chicago, Daisy Johnson visits Riri's mother, telling her that Riri has overthrown the government of Lataveria and because of it, her house now falls under the Lataverian embassy. Sharon wants to know what happened to Von Bardas, but before Riri can take her to the defeated villain, a group of people storm the base, demanding to be free. Riri takes their weapons and brokers peace between them and the Lataverian military, which surprises both sides. Taking Sharon to Von Bardas, the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent takes the captured villain up to the helicarrier with her. Before leaving, Sharon says that what Riri wants to accomplish is pretty complicated and threatens her rule. Realizing that people around them are filming them with cameras and are watching them, Sharon asks what S.H.I.E.L.D. can do for Riri, who wishes to hold the first free election in Lataveria. Invincible Iron Man issue 10 was basically a culmination in everything Riri has learnt and been through in her first year as Ironheart. As the young hero looks to clean up Lataveria upon finishing her first successful victory over a supervillain. It's pretty fun to see a 15 year old girl who thinks that she has all the answers for the country and to also get into like a little diplomatic conversation with people like Sharon Carter and S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything, I think that's pretty cool. The thing I'm most looking forward to, however, is the repercussions of what she has done, which kind of sort of showed themselves this issue with her mother's life being upset. I'm really looking forward to seeing her reunite with her mother and just like, what will her mother do? That's like the biggest thing to come out of this that I'm really interested about. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.